In this video, we learn with Master Chunny, Lin a really powerful Qigong technique that can clear your energy blockages in just 3 seconds. Now, before we get started, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever felt like you're carrying around a lot of emotional baggage? Like you've been holding on to anger or resentment for years and it's time to let it go? If so, then this technique is perfect for you. If you feel this uh, uh, very strong sensation in any of these spots, that means very strong, maybe even life-threatening energy blockages in that part of the body. I'm going to guide you deeper into those practices so that will help you to detect energy blockages more accurately and with confidence. Right? But of course, I'm going to share with you new techniques too. Like Sometimes, do you have this feeling? When you raise up your hand, you detect energy blockage for your friend. You know, left hand and right hand, doesn't matter, right? You hold your hand. And sometimes you feel this uh, a pinching pain in this part of the hand. So now here I draw a picture here. Okay, so right hand, right? You know, left hand and right hand, doesn't matter, right? You hold your hand. And sometimes you feel this uh, a pinching pain in this part of the hand. This part, the middle part, that is the heart. So sometimes you do, do you feel you know, oh, the other area, I don't feel too much. Just this area, I feel the pinching pain or the numbness in the, uh, uh, under the arm, uh, I mean, the, under the thumb area, or this uh, kind of a, uh, uh, kind of a numbness in the bottom of the palm. So it's very, very handy. Of course, you need, you need to practice more. So in our Healing Connection, you know, we'll have an opportunity to practice this. So you know, say, okay, now I want you to put up one hand, you know, left hand, right hand, doesn't matter. Now I want you to, at this moment, and find somebody in your memory who is in critical situation. And then you scan, scan from distance this person's energy field and see how that feels. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. All right, now close your eyes and go through your memory at this moment and see who at this moment you can think who has a, a, a strong or serious energy blockages in the body. All right, now you lift up your hand and detect energy blockage and see what part of the body has more serious energy blockage. Okay, scan, just slowly move your hand, turn, drop your elbows, drop your shoulder, stretch your fingers slightly open and detect, scan, Okay, from the head down to the feet. And breathe slowly and gently while you're doing so. And focus on the feeling of the hand. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Okay, now you can put your hand down, take a deep breath. So rub your hands and massage your face. So up to you, turn in. You put yourself in a very deep meditation, actually in seconds. So each time when you finish that, you need to rub your hands and massage your face to bring yourself back to <laughs> where you, we are doing now at this moment. Otherwise, you'll feel kind of not grounded, right? So make sure each time you do that. Another technique I'm going to share with you. Of course, there's many other techniques. Now, how about uh, whether this person there's any way to find whether this, this is still hope or to save this person's life or uh, this person uh, is dying or there is uh, no hope to save this person's life and is there anything I, we can detect? Yes. Now tonight, I, I, I'm going to share that with you. Right? It's right here in between the index finger and the little finger in this corner. In this part, right? Right hand, this part, left hand, this part. So that is the part. If you detect blockage, if you ask this person whether uh, this person, uh, uh, the life is in danger or there's an 
uh, still hope or no hope to uh, to help him help her to continue his life and then you focus and feel you see any sensation in that area if you feel this uh, sharp pain or pinch nerve pain like some people put a needle in, in that area and that means this person not uh, does not have that much time in this solo life so and um, the best is to do the preparation to help to uh, this person with a life transition of course you still go all out to help this person but you know the, this person's energy and, uh, is so weak this uh, yeah, and some preparation you need to make now healing many different kinds of challenges healing the lungs healing the liver healing the organs and reproductive organs and and so on and so forth now for instance coughing in the lungs well many people believe you know you have a cough or this person has a cough in the lungs and of course you are going to work on the lungs right well actually from the energetic perspective from the qigong healing perspective that is not the case it could be in the in the lungs but most of the time they're not in the lungs the blockages one time a, a, a gentleman came to me and he was skinny and he said he had chronic coughing for almost his entire life no asthma but just coughing 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 tried everything he could and western medicine eastern medicine but nothing could help him to stop that coughing then when i detected the energy blockage i found out he had blockage in the kidneys so by clearing the blockages in the kidneys just within a few sessions his chronic coughing 15 20 years chronic coughing completely gone isn't that amazing as a healer we need to have more power how about you think about this if you just by sitting next to the client and your client is going to feel better the healing already takes place just by sitting next to you and you become a true light and love radio you condition your room you condition your space your healing place so that all the energy from the items will become a tool, will become a supporters for you to help heal, to help people to balance their energy. Now, how to condition? Now, tonight I'm going to share with you one more little technique. You, in your meditation, you include your healing center. You include your healing room in your meditation and bless them in the soft light with the sparkling light so now here i want you to close your eyes and relax drop your shoulders put a smile on your face see there's a light a soft light shining deep in your navel lower dantian and take three deep breaths Okay, now you see the soft light or feel the soft light in your lower dantian. And then you start searching for the sparkling light, teeny, teeny, small light in the middle of that soft light. Okay, then you now breathe gently with each breath. You see your body is expanding, getting bigger, bigger, bigger than your physical body. Continue to focus on that sparkling light. Continue to expand your physical body. And your physical body, see yourself, the en that becomes an energetic body. And that body is as big as your house and it continues to grow and bigger than a house your whole house your whole healing room enveloped in the light and then you see 
you are the middle of the healing room. And you see that sparkling light shining and the light reaching to every corner of that room, that house. And you can do it right there in your meditation room, your healing room, or you can do it from distance through your visualization. And you feel, you really feel that high vibration from the lower Dantian, from the sparkling light. Remember, that is a teeny one. How teeny it is, that's to solely up to your imagination and observation. Sometimes it is as big as the needle point of uh, uh, the, the point of the needle or the point of uh, a pencil. And sometimes it can be as big as a monk bean. Now, while I'm quite guiding the meditation with you, you know, my whole body just vibrating with this energy. And I am literally sweating at this moment. And I see a lot of purple light and blue light. They're mingling together. Okay, so now you can take a deep breath and open your eyes and rub your hands together and massage your face. How do you feel? Isn't that cool? So this is a way you use this powerful chi to condition your room. If on the top of that you add unconditional love, universal unconditional love to help you. So of course that's even more powerful.